The showdown over health care, the Trump administration launching that attempt to repeal the Affordable Care Act, and now Democrats, as you know, are responding. Mary Bruce has more. She's there on Capitol Hill for us. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Robin. Well, there is a new battle brewing here over health care. This move by the Trump administration to strike down the entire Affordable Care Act could leave millions of Americans without coverage, including those with pre-existing conditions. But the president seems to be welcoming this fight ahead of the 2020 election yesterday, telling me that the Republican Party will become known as the party of health care. But when I pressed him on what his plan is to replace Obamacare, well, he didn't respond. And that is part of the reason why Democrats here feel like this is such a political gift. They are quick to point out that Republicans Republicans right now do not have a new replacement plan, Robin. Yeah, nothing to replace it. Uh, Joe Biden made some headlines overnight. Yeah, Rob, Robin, talking about Anita Hill, this is part of Biden's history that is sure to draw fresh scrutiny should he decide to jump into the presidential race, especially in this Me Too era. Joe Biden at the time was the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee when Anita Hill came before his committee to testify about Clarence Thomas's alleged sexual misconduct. And now overnight, he's again apologizing for the way she was treated then. Take a listen. There are a bunch of white guys. No, I mean it sincerely, a bunch of white guys hearing hearing this testimony on the Senate Judiciary Committee. So when Anita Hill, when Anita Hill came to testify, she faced a committee that didn't fully understand what the hell it was all about. And to this day, I regret I couldn't come up with a way to get her the kind of hearing she deserved. But Robin, it is not clear if these kinds of comments are going to be enough to satisfy Biden's critics who point out that he still has not personally apologized to Anita Hill. Robin. All right, Mary, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.